I say this is the future of agriculture because this will take us to the next level. Could raising tilapia be the future of farming? While this may sound a little fishy, there we go. Farmer Tom Reynolds is hooked. Oh, takes a large amount of money to farm out in the dirt world. And this system is, it's just easier. That's why four years ago, Tom took the dive, expanding his 180-acre Baltimore County farm with an indoor operation in neighboring Harford County. This is where aquaponics meets agriculture. This 10,000 square foot aquaponics farm in Bel Air is home to 25 fish tanks and 140,000 fish. Here, Tom raises tilapia that help grow his produce. Because what's toxic for the fish, their own waste, is nourishing for the plants. The water comes out of the warehouse where the fish are being raised and we run it through these beds of lettuce. Aquaponics is the combination of aquaculture and hydroponics, a method of cultivating both crops and fish in a controlled environment. The fish produce plant food and the plants clean fish water. This lettuce is on boards that are floating. You can see the root system underneath there and that is what's filtering the, help filter the water before it goes back in to the fish. In this system, everything is recycled. Here's how it works. Fish produce waste that's high in ammonia. Bacteria living in the biofilter convert that ammonia into nitrite and then to nitrate, a natural nutrient fertilizer. As the plants soak up the nutrients, they filter the water that's channeled right back into the fish tanks. A few miles down the road at Bel Air High School, Students in Glenn Heddleson's environmental science class are getting a look at this cutting-edge farming method. Once those fish digest the food and excrete their waste in the tank, the water from this tank goes into our biofilter, which is filled with this plastic media, and on the media, uh, this is where the bacteria grow, that convert the fish waste first to ammonia and then to nitrite, both of those being toxic and into nitrate, which is then plant fertilizer. Students perform daily maintenance to make sure the fish and plants stay healthy. How many drops? 10. 10, all right. They start by testing the water quality in the tanks. This means checking the temperature, oxygen, pH, ammonia, and nitrate levels in the system. We're trying to maintain non-toxic state in the water chemistry with the fish. The fish waste has the potential to be toxic in a recirculating system. So these guys are checking the toxic levels for ammonia and nitrite. Growing beds of lettuce, peppers, cilantro, and tomatoes using fish is an eye-opening experience for the students. It takes a lot of understanding of what you're actually doing because sometimes you'll go through and you'll look at animals, you'll be like, oh, we can't use any of them, like, they're just animals. But then when you start to look at aquaponics, you realize, oh, they're actually doing something for us. They're playing a bigger part. It just makes things a lot more easy to appreciate. And no one has a greater appreciation for aquaponics than Tom, especially when it's time to plant lettuce. Today, Tom is sowing another bed, one seed at a time. It's a tedious process. Oops, I missed. But a technique he prefers over conventional farming. This system doesn't depend on huge amounts of water, herbicides, or pesticides, and... There's no dirt contamination, there's no sand, there's no nothing. It doesn't take a tractor to plant this. I don't have to buy commercial fertilizer. I don't have to spray it. You take all that out of the growing cycle of this lettuce. To me, I think it's a better product. I don't plan ever on growing lettuce in the dirt ever again. And Tom's new method is Buddy. reeling in customers with fruits, vegetables. We got old bay oh, yeah, we got the old bay. I just did a little of that. Couple minutes on the grill. And for the first time, fish. <laughs> 